Hi everyone! Hi! Today is a slightly different recipe video because it's not really a recipe, yeah. but it is us making burgers. I love burgers and it is such an easy way to convert from what you would have had the carb heavy bun, mm -hmm. all the good stuff's in the middle. <laughs> very true, very true. So really, you can have most of the stuff that you would put in the middle, Yeah. just don't put it on a bun. Yeah, exactly. So we would have this most weeks. I love it so much. Yeah. Of this. So um, this is just a super easy way to show you all the different types of toppings, condiments, what you could maybe use as a bun. First of all, we're going to make the patties. Um, so we just have 500 grams of beef mince here. Um, and normally I'm just going to add a bit, like I don't have a fancy recipe or anything, I'll just put some salt and pepper and mustard that goes into the beef patties and then we'll mix that all together and shape it into four patties. Who will mix it? You will mix it, because yeah, <laughs> I don't like touching the... <laughs> but let's, so I'm just going to pop some salt in there. I mean, you, could, you don't need to put mustard even, you could just put salt and pepper. It is nice to season it a bit I think um, rather than just having plain meat and we've never felt the need to put breadcrumbs or egg or no. anything in ours and they hold together fine yeah so I've just got some whole grain mustard here I'm just going to put like a tablespoon in and then it's over to Dan <laughs> the only way to do it is to use your hands <laughs> So once Dan gets this all mixed together really well, so you just really want to kind of knead it to make sure the seasoning and the mustard is through all the meat and then divide it into four, shape into patties and we're going to cook it on the barbecue. And we also have some onion here that we're going to cook on the barbecue as well. So some other things that you might want to cook um, to add on it could be some mushrooms, that would be really yummy. Some bacon, Dan loves a soft fried, fried egg. egg. <laughs> so those are some other things you might want to cook on the barbecue or you can do it in a fry pan as well but we we like to do it on the barbecue. So you can see you kind of just shape it into the best form of a patty that you can. I don't go very neat. <laughs> not super happy with the <laughs> I don't care what, it doesn't matter to me if they're neat or not. Probably just want them to be like a uniform thickness for cooking, but it doesn't really matter. At the supermarket, if you didn't want to make your own patties, which honestly, like, it's pretty easy. <laughs> but if you just wanted something quicker, like a grab, or if you're going over to somebody's place or something, you just wanted to take something. Cleavers, organic meats do have like a... Um, hamburger patty that has pretty good ingredients so that's probably the best option that's available at Coles and Woolies. With the grilling on the barbecue, my barbecue is a lot of um, the grill, no flat plate. Um, so I tend to find it easier to kind of put a little bit of olive oil on the burgers before I put them on the grill. Um, it really prevents them from sticking um, and I don't like using the spray stuff, so that works just as well to stop them sticking. Should we go out to the barbecue? This is the fun part, and this is the part where it's really cool, like if you have kids or whatever, just lay it all out on the table and let them build their own. They will think all their Christmases have come at once. I like building my own, 
Um, and Erica is going to talk you through how she will build hers. So we are using lettuce cups as our bun option and I like to do like two on the bottom. So I guess some people might kind of do two like that, but I'm going to do two on the bottom with the white bit going the opposite way for extra sturdiness. Another couple of options for the kind of bun replacement is you can make oopsie bread we have a recipe for that so we'll link um a description in the description we'll put a link um the other options are buns that you low carb buns that you can buy so buns like the ones from audi the ones the macro ones from Woolworths, and also polenta fresh erica also likes to kind of put hers in a bowl and make mm. it more of a salad so that's another option too yeah so like just use rocket as the base then put your burger and then put all your toppings on top and eat it with a knife and fork because this is 100% it is messy. it's going to be messy there's no way around it okay so i've put my burger patty in there and some of the onions off the barbecue because that's the best part um the other dan's going to put I'm going to put an egg, egg on yep. hers. Um, but bacon is also another good thing you can cook on the barbecue. Or mushrooms. And I've seen people use those big mushrooms. mushrooms and yep. buns as well. Like you probably want to roast them or something. But I'm going to go with some tomato next. And I've just sliced up some pickles here. You can really go as creative as you like with the, the fillings. Most of them are going to be low carb. You know what is low carb and what's not. Now, cheese would obviously yes. be a really good and delicious option. We're not having cheese at the moment, but avocado gives a nice kind of creaminess. So I've just got some slices here of avocado. Pop those on. So that's probably my fillings and then condiments. in my opinion the most important part the condiments so we've got a lot of condiments here then so mayo wise you guys know we like the sir kensington one you can buy it on iherb um, you can make your own we have been making our own a lot lately if you want an australian uh, version with good clean ingredients the good fat aioli the good fat mayo and they also have a chili mayo now um, they use olive oil and you can get them on low carb emporium um, also in the mayo range is the avocado oil ranch from sir kensington so they're the mayos and then you're probably going to want barbecue or tomato sauce we like the good sauces we don't have any of the barbecue one at the moment but you can get these at low carb emporium they have a sweet chili Erica likes the tomato sauce or the ketchup. Um, you can also do mustard. I've found an American mustard the Heinz in brand. Heinz brand is actually clean ingredients. Mm. So have a look at the mustards. If you like the American kind of milder one, um, that works quite well if you find the one, the Heinz one that's clean ingredients. We also pickle our own onions. There's not many left. Um, yeah, so if you don't cook any onions, you could use pickled onions or just raw onions. Where I think you go, go with aioli. Um, I might get you to open it because I've got avocado on my head. <laughs> that was not my fault. <laughs> Sorry. Just not me. Convenient, isn't it? it smells garlic. Oh, it's really garlicky. It's really thick as well. I'm going to go with some aioli and tomato sauce, I think. Double, double sauces on mine. Are you, are you going to make yours up, Dan? Yep. So, on mine, I'm going to do... Oh, sorry. I prefer the two over the top of each other. Um, so, oh, the top and the bottom. I do. Yeah. I like the top and the bottom. Right. Yep. So some of the onion, put my egg on, one slice of tomato, I won't put avocado on mine, a couple of pieces of pickle, 
Now, mm, the this is the, the big, big the decision. Condiments. I might go mayo and mustard. You on the aioli? Mm-hmm. Or, actually, I might do the chili mayo. All right, we're going to have all the mayo. <laughs> Hopefully this one doesn't explode. <laughs> Surprised I got that other one open. Had it been open before? A <laughs> little bit of chili mayo. Oh, that looks nice as well. We haven't had this one before, no. have we? We've tried their plain, just original mayo, not the flavoured ones. Just keep in mind, the more wet stuff you put on there, the, the way juicier, this gets. The juicier it's going to be. Um, I think that might be it, actually. Yeah. It yeah. doesn't need mustard. Am I going to bite into it? Or I think run? mine looks better than yours, by the way. Look how beautiful like, mine looks. Yeah, I'm not going for beauty. I'm going to stick my teeth into it in a second. Are we eating this? I think this I, is going to be... I apologise in advance to everyone for how messy this is going to be. But see the double, double cup? It's the best option. Erica's trying to be. prove that yeah. I don't do it right. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Delicious. Mm. I don't have the avocado on it. We're gonna go and <laughs> eat our burgers now. Hopefully you found this video useful. Burgers are a winner. I'm telling you, they are the best. I love them. I could eat them every day. Pretty easy kind of Friday night dinner as well. You just have to make the patties pop everything out everyone can get their own to however they like it if you've got carb eaters get them buns you know exactly you can honestly the bun is the only difference yeah in my opinion so hopefully you found this video useful give us a like subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching everyone i'm going to get that little bit of avocado off everything's face ah, are you serious <laughs>